Hey, so a little while back, I did this video called uh, Contra Critique, Has Contra Points Peaked? And despite the clever rhyming and name, I don't think the video was really that good. <laughs> like, I was trying to be a little bit bold with my video and bring up some things, but I don't know that I really brought up anything that was maybe that great to say. And I've had some additional thoughts since then, because I kind of hate my whole premise. So I want to tell you about that. Okay, so for those of you that, like, haven't watched the video, which, I don't know, I don't recommend because I don't like it. <laughs> um, kind of the whole thing in the video is I'm saying that, like, ContraPoints put out some really, really good stuff. And then some of her stuff after that was not as good to me with my own wants and desires and biases and what have you. Um, I'm kind of questioning, like, where's my position that I can judge that and what does that mean? Um, and yeah, I, I kind of like, I was trying to maybe fit her YouTube career to an arc, which I don't know if the air quotes is really a great thing to do there because I don't think that there's anything wrong with making a career of YouTube. It's effectively somewhere between a presentation and teaching medium and a storytelling and acting medium, and there's nothing wrong with either of those things. Um, I have done acting in the past, so I can't really judge someone for doing it, right? Okay, but like, here's the thing. Um, I don't really like the approach I took, because I think it was a little too judgy. And I thought about that later, and I thought about the whole approach I took, and why it was too judgy. And I think maybe one of the biggest issues with the approach I took is exactly what I said a second ago, trying to fit someone's YouTube career to an arc. As if an arc is somehow this prescriptive thing to which people's careers must be fitted, like a mathematical model. So... I don't, I don't think that that's actually a good way to measure anybody's career. In fact, I don't think it's a good way to look at a channel or look at someone's content that they produce in general. Like, I don't think it's a good way to take anyone's anything. Because really, the problem with doing something like that, what's the problem? The problem with doing something like that is it's a horribly controlling way to try to shape someone else's life or force someone else's life to fit our expectations. Expectations. And that's what I keep hitting on when I think about that video I made and what I was trying to convey in it. I don't think I was self-aware enough about the expectations that I had when I made that video. And I would like to think a little bit more about the expectations I do have because I think they're really important when you're trying to look at what it is you're getting out of the things that someone else is making. And what that says about you more than what it says about them. Because, like, I think the expectations that I have for ContraPoints is that there's a certain kind of flow that the content will have where it'll be more and more relevant to me and the things that interest me until finally at some point it becomes less relevant to me and less interesting to me and at that point I'm done with it. But you realize that actually says nothing about ContraPoints or the content that she's making or the channel that she has on YouTube. That's entirely something about me and who I am and what it is that I want. So. I think me trying to look at her channel and whether it has some sort of peak or whether it has some sort of career arc is nothing about her at all, in fact. I, I think it has nothing to do with her. See, we take these positions in the world with the things that we believe and we set up expectations for our experiences with those positions. And we have kind of an expectation 
And this is something I see a lot in not just academia, but probably all across Western thought, that um, someone is supposed to start out naive, maybe occasionally brilliant, but still naive, and then build up their skill or build up their expertise or what have you until finally producing their greatest stuff. And then once they produce their greatest stuff, they start to wane and fizzle out and their virtuosity begins to fail them and they become less interesting and less relevant. But I think that's kind of shitty, don't you? Like, <laughs> seriously, that is a very, very shitty thing to force on someone else. I mean, that's not what they signed up for. They just want to make something. Like people are out in this world, putting their heart out there, making all kinds of things and just hoping that it's hitting the right target audience, that it's meaning something to someone, and but maybe more so that the things they're creating are the things they want to create and have meaning to the creator. Like, in the end, I mean, it's important to be heard, but it's also important just to hear yourself. And would it even matter if there was nobody on the other end? I mean, maybe, because the people on the other end are the people that are setting up the expectations. And ultimately, that's the shitty part about it, because those are the people in the comments section down below writing all the shit about how I look or how my voice sounds or the fact that I don't have a bra on or I don't know what the fuck else they'll probably write if they even notice me, which they probably won't. But sometimes you have to say things because you know that there's something that needs to be said. And you don't know if they're going to reach the right person or if there even is a right person. Maybe you want to be the right person. You want to be the audience for your words, but you're not even sure if you are. But you need to put them out there. So you need to create and you need to make things. And other people are setting up these arcs, these stories of your life, these stories of your creative life, your creative endeavors, your career, as it were, of making things. What does that mean? What does that mean for other people to set up these expectations of you that ultimately you fall and fail because there's an end? I don't know that that's really accurate, though. Like, to say that there is an end. It's so linear. It takes things that are being created and it tries to fit them to this idea of a person creates them for a purpose. And I mean, that's true of things that get created as a person does create them for a purpose. But like to say that the arc of creation comes to an end, I don't think so because things find their audience and find their purpose hundreds or thousands of years after they were written. The things that, you know, someone just wrote a diary and it got lost between the walls of a building thousands of years later it becomes a valuable tome of information like there's really no normal when it comes to what we make and who's supposed to read it and when so the idea of an arc this thing that's very time-like this thing that's very linear predictive prescriptive forces people creators into a mold that's horribly unfair to them isn't it it's horribly unfair to tell people how and when and why and for whom they can create. Like, that seems like such bullshit to me. <laughs> because ultimately, what is it that creators want to do? Or don't even want to do, sometimes just feel forced to do, almost like it's a poison that they have to let out of themselves. Get the words out onto the page, get the song out onto the tape tape. Oh my god, I'm so old. <laughs> um, yeah, it's like, I don't know, sometimes creators aren't even creating for an audience. They're creating because the thing in their head, that creative work, they're the only audience, and until they let it out, they're held captive by it. And nobody wants to be a captive audience, or at least knowingly be a captive audience. And it's not really fair to make someone a captive audience unknowingly either. That's beside the point though. So like, regardless of how, when, or why creators are creating, 
ultimately doesn't matter if there's not an arc. Doesn't matter if they produce their best work in their 20s or their 50s. Doesn't matter if their best stuff, best stuff to people nowadays, to you or to me, who think that they understand the relevance, but do we really? Is it the beginning or the middle or the end of their career? I mean, what the fuck? If you make something and put it out there for it to live as long as it can and maybe one day disappear just to be rediscovered again, is there really an end? I don't think there is. Again, it's so linear. Linear and prescriptive to just fit things into this narrative of career arc. What you create. The best papers a mathematician writes in their late 20s. The best physicists do their best work with 20 years experience under their belt. I mean, it's so formulaic. It's not creative at all. But what do I know? I'm just some chick screaming her thoughts into the void. Whether someone answers them or not, I don't know. Maybe I don't want an answer. Maybe I don't want an audience. Maybe I don't want people to know what I think, to see me hit my head on the stripper pole behind me, to judge me for it in the fucking comments section, right? Who wants that? <sighs> I mean, I guess I do. <laughs> I guess I want that kind of thing or else I wouldn't be doing this, right? <sighs> yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know how true that really is. But does it matter? Probably doesn't. Because in the end, I'm just someone talking at a camera, uploading a video on a website where there's a whole world of expectations among the audience, beliefs about what my channel is supposed to look like from people who've never met me and never will. Like Abby Thorne, talk about parasocial relationships. I'm shopping for some parasocial relationships, baby. I'm in the market. I am parasocially single and looking for love. Okay, that's a lie. I have parasocial relationships, just not on YouTube. But when you think about it, it's our expectations of what an audience should look like. Our expectations of what an audience should present to the channel, to the creator, that really dictate how a channel or a creator's work gets interpreted. I don't know, it's a very strange thing. I don't really have a conclusion other than I had a bullshit take. <laughs> okay, that's it, bye.